The thing that really troubles me with Donald Trump and kind of confuses me as well is the fact that America likes to portray themselves as this very staunchly Christian moral nation and yet to elect a man such as him who has this lack of respect towards people of different skin colours, people of different religions, a lack of, dis a lack of respect towards women the fact that they would turn around and elect such a leader as him, like, I just find that shocking. D do you think that this is a sign of the times or have we seen instances like that in history? Well, I mean, in, in this particular case, apparently there were a significant number of people who had their grievances and uh, they those grievances weren't uh, listened to or if they were listened to they didn't previous politicians previous presidents didn't do anything about them so mm -hmm. um, the electorate decided to uh, uh, go for someone who was promising them uh, the things that they liked mm -hmm. and uh, they made their choice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose so and um, I guess that one thing that might be comforting even though like this is a very difficult situation it's also a very scary situation the fact that this particular individual he is targeting particular ethnic minorities particular religions he's also you know he's making very inflammatory comments towards countries such as Iran and North Korea which can cause an awful lot of problems but um what do the Ahlul Bayt alayhim wassalam how did they deal with the oppressive governments of their time? Because in particular, Beni Umayyah and Beni Abbas, they did all that they could to try and stamp out the light and the truth of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim as Yes. Um, <coughs> well, they, um, the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salam didn't. They had, the power was in the hands of the likes of uh, um, Bani Umayya, the Umayyad dynasty and the Abbasid dynasty and uh, they uh, subjected the Ahlul Bayt to uh, all the um, persecution, uh, punishment and uh, ultimately uh, killing mm -hmm. of Ahlul Bayt. Um, every single uh, Imam, if you like, uh, at the time of Bani Umayyah and Bani Abbas, <laughs> were um, uh, killed by those uh, rulers, mm -hmm. by the rulers of the Umayyad dynasty and Abbasid dynasty. Mm -hmm. And not only that, they um, um, they persecuted and uh, in, a m in the most vicious way, and uh, even. Um, relentlessly killed the followers of the Imams of Ahlul Bayt mm -hmm. um, um, So you mentioned that uh, you know the position the president has taken against uh, you know other religious minorities or the Muslims and uh, so on and so forth families uh, uh, are finding it difficult to re reunite and so on and so forth because of the if you like uh, bans they have on Muslims entering the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, but um, <coughs> these hardships that the Muslims today are facing are nothing compared to the, the sort of hardship that uh <coughs> the followers of Ahl bayt were, for, uh, were being subjected to mm -hmm. uh, during the times of uh, the Umayyad rulers and the Abbasid rulers and of course during the time before that. Yes. Um, uh, if we want to go, I could go through some of the details of yes, how the... Yes, please do. Please uh, the do.